Hello and welcome. Today we are going to do this one. I don't know what is it, but you can see it. And let's go. So I'm going to start with outlining. And let's see. I'm going to start with a hat. And there's some hail going down and more hail here like this and maybe her shoulder is showing up and you can see this part and more hair like this chin is here and here's the cheek here's the eyebrow here's the forehead here's the shadow of the hat and yeah the hair here and more hair oh. so now I have the basic outlining of what I want to draw so I'm going to add the base color for the face and uh, opacity on 100 and fellow on 60 maybe and I need more kind of reddish yellow here and for the face I'm going to continue with it and some kind of brown for the hair like oh, maybe this is good more here more here and at this area more here more here here i don't know what i should i like, talk about but I bought a new mic and basically I didn't have a mic in the last video I waited for my purchases to arrive I still don't have the uh, ring light that I bought so I am still waiting on that but I started to recording so I was so tired you know these days I don't know what is it but I felt so tired but I have to keep recording for you guys and that's what I uh, what I'm doing uh, this is the inside of the hat of the hoodie hat and we have some shadows under it I see here we have shadow for the eyes here and here So, no shadow over here. Not completely black. I don't really use complete black ever because it makes your drawing looks very amateur. You know, always use a dark brown or dark red kind of something like that but 100% black is never look good never look good as a color to use I blend the colors that I use with alt as you can see I add a brown to the mix 
lighter but uh, then I mix it with the oats so it makes colors look looks more complicated and better than a single brown color or red or green or whatever so I need more shadows for the nose and for the lips under the lip here and here okay. So here, and maybe uh, we see less forehead, maybe, and this, like this, like here, adding shadow for the hat. I hope this turned out to be okay. I don't know. At this point, I don't know how it's going to turn out. If it's going to be look good or not. I don't know. But I have to draw. That's the thing you do. When you draw, don't... Uh, overestimate the drawing. Don't think that is going to be a masterpiece or whatever just the law and enjoy the drawing it's going to be ugly or not ugly <laughs> that's the main reason that's the goal just doing it you know um, I need to oh, more blue here I think yes And here, like darker colors here, darker colors, darker colors. Okay, so let's add more shadows here, and here, and here, and I'm low on the flow, but opacity on the 100. Let's see what's happening here. next. I'm going to add more details to the shadow, evolving the drawing. When you draw, it's a living thing, you know. It's always evolving and changing. And that's the beauty of it. If you know what are you doing at the first time, it's not no fun, you know, it doesn't have any element of fun in it. It's kind of like mathematics when you know what are you doing. But art is something that you have to engage with it and learning it while you're doing it, you know. And also, I need some uh, kind of green here, adding to the existing color, see, with holding down Alt and using Eyedrop tool, I'm mixing the colors, maybe some kind of yellow here greenish yellow here for highlights also some here okay after that I'm going to add more shadows you know you create your forms using shadows and that's the basic process. You see the shadows and you add them to the mix. You know, there's a shadow here, that part of the face is in the shadow. There's a 
there's a shadow here here's the upper lip in this past few days I was feeling kind of down and that's why I my upload rate was low so I usually upload basically every day or multiple times a day but I wasn't feel very good I don't know what is it I know what is it but uh, I don't really think maybe it's the weather you know weather has very powerful impact on people and everything basically and your feelings is very important and have very deep effect on your artworks you know basically you are doing something that contains con contains con 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 sorry contain your soul kinda and when you feel down or not okay you can see it in the artwork or the drawings you know if you feel happy and there's multiple things that you can do to lift up your spirit especially if you're an artist it can really help you it's one of them is working out uh, I didn't work out today or yesterday I should but I was very low at the sleep so if I was working out uh, that wasn't going very well also your diet your the things that you consume have very important effect on your mental state kind of you know and working out is very very powerful it's very effective I seen so many artists who work out very much and they are basically in better mood than other artists and you can see it the artworks and basically how you live is visible to, to your artwork or sometimes your artwork is opposite of your life you know you want to have this wonderful view and you don't have it you live in a big city then you draw it or um, create it by yourself that sometimes it's what you wanted to do or sometimes art or drawing or any type of art is an escape from the reality of the world so basically I don't think the reality of the world is very beautiful for everyone but there are ways to compliment the effect of it one of them is art is drawing I said before drawing is like a meditation for me or anybody I think that do it feels like that because you feel very unaffected by the world when you do that you feel like you are in charge of everything that you are creating and that helps people I think art is a very good thing for you in any circumstances art always helps and also some red helps here and maybe lowering the flow 
didn't know that till recently I started to talking on my videos and it's kind of hard you know because I shut down when I do I completely shut down and I have to not shut down when I record the videos so it's kind of hard to focus on drawing, also talking about it. Ah, maybe I get a, get better at it after a hundred, one thousand videos. I don't know. Maybe one of one or two. We shall see. I want to keep up working on this. YouTube channel, I told you before, this is all I have. There's nothing else that I want to do except this one. The drawing on YouTube. So basically, I used to do my artworks on Instagram. But Instagram algorithm is very bad. Especially the, these last years, it basically tells you that pay me to show your artwork to people. Basically, what is what Instagram and Twitter do is it. But YouTube tells you that you work, work, work. And if you constantly watch, I'm going to show your art or show your videos to more people, you know. It's up to you to create more videos and better videos, basically. And that's a huge difference, you know. And I like it. So far, in past year, that I kind of work it mostly on YouTube it pays off you know I reached to 1000 subs recently and it was fun it was really fun doing it and yeah and found very amazing people here my subscribers are very supportive. I love them all. They are great people are here. Very different from the Instagram society and especially different from Twitter or X. I don't like that name. But anyway. So, I need some Redness kinda here and here and some here, some highlight here and some here, some shadow here. Okay. Ah, oh, looking good. Looking good. Like it so far. So after that, I need some work on the tip of the nose. And uh, 
on some highlight here blend this shadow and the light here okay and some light maybe here okay and there's a shadow of here makes this light looks better uh, using this highlight also using this shadow here alright so I'm going to add more lights in this area and more here uh, some highlights here and uh, maybe some light on the hair like this and this here here so shaping the hair and little by little as we go so like the shoulder some light on the, on the shoulder and some shadows alright so shaping the hair drawing some details in here also in here and here I need the hat to look like this and the hair coming at this side like this and more Alright, so basically I'm going to add some more light on the shoulder and more shadows on the side of the hair that is away from us. Like this. Watch. Like this and this. different color for the foreground here and maybe some lighter colors in this area and this area okay and some here and here some lighter colors Adding them to the mix and here and here. Watch. After that, I'm going to reshape this area and let's do the other parts of the face. I need some light here and some shadow this area some here some light here and here also more reddish dark dark red here and here also here some highlight and maybe mix the together sometimes we have highlights in this area of the nose but we need the shadow with it if you can see that's why and there's always shadow beneath the nose 
more or less is different from people to people, but there is the shadow under the nose. As there is a light here on the younger people, and here. Some light here. 